Pakistan has the greatest change in elevation within any sovereign state on earth. From 0 meters on Sonmiani Bay to 8,611 meters on the summit of K2. The dramatic changes in altitude means extremely diverse environments with forests ranging from mangroves on the coast to conifers in the mountains. Not more than 4% of Pakistan's land mass is today under the cover of forests. Massive deforestation occurred from 1980 to 1992. The greatest victims were the conifer forests in the Himalayan belt, resulting in disastrous flooding in Pakistan's frontier province in 1992. There was also massive landsliding during the recent earthquake which struck Pakistan on October 8, 2005. Although a ban on logging is now in place, local communities are still seduced by commercial timber prospects. They cut and sell trees to contractors who get rich overnight while the communities remain impoverished. As the population grows, so does the demand for fuel wood and the numbers of livestock that graze on young trees. However, with the support of community-based organizations and NGOs, forest communities are gradually becoming aware of the importance of saving their natural forests. They are beginning to realize that their future survival is dependent on these forests. If the forests disappear, so does their way of life. Grassroots initiatives like the European Union and United Nations Development Programme's Small Grants Programme to promote tropical forests are playing a key role in developing non-timber forest products. They are empowering communities, protecting against disasters and conserving and managing forests. PTF operates in eight countries of the South and Southeast Asian region. PTF has established 29 projects focused on non-timber forest products and ecotourism. So far, PTF has worked with 100 communities, 12,000 households, 150 villages, 100 civil society organizations and 6 government agencies. PTF is helping to conserve 25,000 hectares of forest land and plant another 5,000 hectares. The PTF is not just conserving forests, but promoting culture, heritage, enterprise and gender mainstream. <laughs>